Hello, welcome to the United Technologies Aerospace System Customer Training Center's video library. Please remember these videos supplement the detailed information specified in the applicable FAA approved maintenance manual. To ensure airworthiness, it is the mechanic's responsibility to follow and abide by the applicable maintenance manual instructions. In this video, we will be using maintenance manual P5206 section 61-10-00 which is available at the MyHS customer service website. During this video you will see the removal and installation of the 568F propeller system dome cover and oil transfer tube. Let's begin by draining the oil in the coarse pitch chamber. Depending on how long ago the jet engine was shut down there may be hot high pressure oil inside the coarse pitch chamber. It is important to remember environmental health and safety guidelines, especially the use of safety glasses and gloves. Use wire cutters to remove and discard the safety wire that locks the bleed plugs to the hex head bolt. Rotate the propeller so that one of the bleed plugs is at the 12 o'clock position. Carefully open the bleed plug to release oil pressure that is inside the coarse pitch chamber. After residual pressure has been released, remove the bleed plug from the hole. Use an applicable container to catch the oil as the open drain is rotated to the 6 o'clock position. Loosen the opposite bleed plug, allowing air into the coarse pitch chamber so that all of the oil will drain. Now that all the oil has been drained, let's remove the dome cover. Using a standard socket, extension, and ratchet, remove all of the dome cover bolts and washers. Now that all of the dome cover bolts have been removed, Use a marker to make an alignment mark on the dome and dome cover. The alignment mark will make the installation easier. Remove the dome cover. Remove and discard the packing. Do not remove the spinner packing or balancing weights that may be attached to the dome cover. Inspect the oil for metal particles. Use a clean cloth to clean up oil inside the coarse pitch chamber. While the dome is removed, this is a great time to inspect the inside of the coarse pitch chamber for damage or debris. Remove the oil transfer tube locking cap assembly by pushing inward to compress the spring and turn the cap counterclockwise to unlock the three tangs. Hold and pull on the oil transfer tube to remove it from the propeller assembly. Some operators store the transfer tube in the assembled condition or you can remove the cotter pin, headed pin, and adjusting nut from the oil transfer tube. Discard the cotter pin and store all the other parts for future inspection and further use. Now we will reinstall the transfer tube and dome cover. Per the maintenance manual, we begin by making sure the propeller valve module and control linkage have been properly adjusted and set up for the transfer tube installation. To read about the full propeller valve module installation procedure, please go to the P5206 maintenance manual. Set the propeller valve module power lever to flight idle and install a rig pin. Set the propeller valve module condition lever to min governing and install a rig pin. Please refer to the ATR aircraft maintenance manual for instructions on adjusting the overall aircraft system power lever and condition lever linkage. Make sure the actuator piston and blades are in the feather position. Apply a thin layer of lubricating oil to the ring seals and the external surfaces of the outer transfer tube. Use the split ring and expander help tools to install the two O-rings and outer cap seals onto the transfer tube grooves. Be careful not to overstretch the cap seal. Remove the split ring and expander help tools from the transfer tube. Inspect the step pin, making sure it is firmly held in the correct position. The pin should not move freely in the transfer tube. Install the seal compressor help tool over the seals and compress the seals for a minimum of five minutes. Remove the compressor help tool and move quickly to install the transfer tube into the propeller assembly. As the transfer tube is installed through the actuator, align the stepped pin with one of the three relieved areas on the inside diameter of the yoke shaft. Insert the transfer tube through the actuator. When the transfer tube is approximately 10 and a quarter inches from full installation, the tube will begin to make contact, so make sure you hold on to the transfer tube tightly as the spring pressure increases during installation. 
Hold the transfer tube tightly against the hard stop of the propeller valve module and at the same time adjust the nut onto the transfer tube so the nut just touches the yoke shaft shoulder. Use a marker to mark the position of the transfer tube adjusting nut in relationship to the yoke. Use your hand to turn the adjusting nut clockwise four 360 degree turns. Use the marks you made to count the four turns. Align the nearest adjustment nut hole with the slot in the transfer tube. Installation of the headed pin is a design critical characteristic. Make sure a second person inspects the installation. Install the headed pin through the adjusting nut and transfer tube slot. Secure the headed pin with a cotter pin. Do not bend the cotter pin more than 90 degrees. Make sure the rivets in the cap assembly do not interfere with the cotter pin. Align the tangs of the cap assembly with the slots of the actuator retaining nut. Push the cap assembly to compress the spring and turn the cap clockwise with sufficient force to lock the cap in the retaining nut slots. Make sure the cap is locked by trying to turn the cap counterclockwise with no axial load on the spring. If the cap is installed properly, it will stay locked. Note: Refer to the ATR maintenance manual for instructions to adjust torque levels at reverse and flight idle. It is permissible to turn the transfer tube adjusting nut up to a maximum of three holes in either direction during adjustment, 180 degrees maximum. Lubricate and install a new packing into the dome cover slot. Install the dome cover by lining up the bolt hole pattern on the dome cover with the bolt hole pattern on the actuator. Install 16 dome cover bolts with washers to hold the cover in position. Back them off a few turns to check running torque. Refer to the maintenance manual, section 61-10-00, fits and clearance section for a complete description of running torque. Per the fits and clearance table, the dome cover bolts must have a minimum of 14 inch-pounds breakaway torque, also called running torque. Use a torque wrench, drive handle, and socket to measure the running torque and zero the torque wrench. For this bolt, the actual running torque measures 20 inch-pounds. Per the maintenance manual, dome cover bolts shall be torqued to 390 plus or minus 10 inch-pounds above running torque. In this example, we add 390 inch-pounds to the running torque we just measured and final torque will be 410 inch-pounds. Use this procedure and a crisscross pattern to tighten and torque the remaining dome cover bolts. That completes this video segment on dome cover oil transfer tube removal and installation. If you have any questions about the procedure in this video, please contact the Customer Response Center. Thank you, be safe, and have a nice day.